You know, Red, I've heard that some people think our jokes are a little lame, but I think you'll find that this says otherwise. What is... <laughs> Welcome back to Worth a Dram. I'm Red. And I'm Grim. This is your one stop shop for whiskey reviews, mixed opinions, and pretty neat jokes. <laughs> So this uh, past Sunday was National Bourbon Day. Uh, it was a very, uh, it's, a, it's an important time of my life. Uh, I'm not Mine sure too. about yourself. But uh, you do know, because I commemorated my Maker's Mark bottle. That's very true. National That's, Bourbon Day. Man, it is, uh, it's a special day in my heart. So uh, to commemorate this special day, we're going with an award-winning whiskey. Uh, so we are taking a look at Woodenville Straight Bourbon. 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 Okay, right. It is bourbon day. That's good. It's, it's very good. <laughs> um, so this is actually, this is our first fan recommendation. I know. It's very exciting. So yep. thank you, friend of the show, Bob. Yeah. Uh, definitely appreciate the recommendation. Uh, we do take recommendations. We take them very seriously. We also take donations very seriously. I mean. <laughs> if anybody wants to drop off a bottle of scotch agreed. or something. Agreed. So comment down below if you have any recommendations you want us to try. Absolutely. Uh, definitely uh, looking forward. I think we have a couple already besides Woodenville. Woodenville was the first. Yep. We've got a couple in the uh, on the back burner, but anything you guys want to see us try, definitely uh looking forward to that yep so um so like i said today we're taking a look at woodenville um straight out of woodenville washington it's pretty cool um this is the 2020 winner double gold medal two gold medals <laughs> i'm immediately thinking that's like <laughs> i think you're both gold medals <laughs> anyway so um so this is the winner of the 2020 san francisco world spirits competition of the um Best straight bourbon category. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, you know, we were actually uh, tipped off to this bourbon. There was, a, I think, a Forbes article that said, if we find any of these bottles on shelves, buy them all. Yeah. I didn't do that. We, we bought one. Yep, we bought one. Because <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, to be fair, Woodenville could have typed that up and said, hey, go ahead and publish this. That's true. Like, you know, drive up uh, sales. I'm looking at this bottle, though. It's a nice bottle. It is. Uh, I get the color. Embossed on the side. Yeah. I mean. So Woodenville has been producing up to seven barrels a day since 2010. Hmm. Like they, nonstop, like they've been cranking these out. Yeah. And I believe this year is the first batch year that they're actually releasing these. Nice. These are a five-year bourbon. Um, actually, so I did mention um, that they took home the best straight bourbon, that category. Yeah. There is a little bit of a defining factor between bourbons and straight bourbons. So it has to conform to the five factors that I mentioned in episode two. Not four, five. Five, five, five factors. factors. But it also has to be aged for more than two years. Yeah. And if it's aged for less than four, that age statement has to be on the bottle. Oh, okay. Um, I think during okay. our research, we happened to find that this was aged five years. Five years, yeah. 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 Um, um, and it's, it's, it's small craft whiskey. I mean, oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, right on the back of the bottle, it says that all grains harvested for this bourbon comes from... Uh, the Omlin, I don't know about the pronunci pronunciation there, but the Omlin family farm in yeah. Quincy, Washington. It's all locally sourced. All right, so uh, Woodenville. Uh, so this bourbon is 72% uh, corn, 22% rye, and 6% barley. Malted uh, barley. Malted barley. Uh, so I'm very... That was a cute little cork. I like that cork. <laughs> that was good. Corks get my attention, uh, just in general. Um that was that was a good cork. So hats off to Woodenville for a good cork. Um, but their uh, barrels are uh, open air aged for 18 months uh, before they put um, the bourbon in them, and then they're trucked up to the uh, Cascade Mountains up in Washington, where at least they say um, on their website during their research that the uh, temperature changes in the Cascade Mountains cause the barrels to uh, expand and contract which forces the spirits in and out of the, uh, of the wood, providing a, a more uh, in-depth flavor. Um, so I'm definitely excited for that. I think it's responsible. You think that's responsible? I think so. I think it is as well. Big bottle. Oh. Big bottle? I did it. You did? Yeah, did I'm you miss so it? I'm so sorry. I'm preoccupied with the beetle. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start nosing this while you're pouring me some glasses. 
I'm going to get a head start on you. All right, yeah. I guess that I... was good. That was so we've we've had some recommendations that maybe we should pour smaller glasses. All right, so we don't take all recommendations seriously. No, we don't. So <laughs> just we do we. Yeah, <laughs> make any sense? I got to tell you, the color is phenomenal. It is. Um, I don't know. I, you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell um, the way that is, but that's a deep amber color. Yeah. Um, like John Hammond could pull a mosquito out of this. Yeah, he could. <laughs> It's bad, no expense. Ooh. So I get, I get that wood right off the bat. Mm -hmm. I get, that wood is pretty strong. The, the wood comes off first. You get once you get past that though, I get um, a little bit of sweetness, toasted caramel. Actually, you know what? A little bit caramel apple. I think that's where the majority of that sweetness. Yeah. Yep. Is that what you're getting? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I can see that for sure. And then um, and then I can't put my finger on it, but just spices. Yeah. Spiciness. And maybe that's the rye coming through, the spiciness. Maybe I think so, yeah. I'm getting. We were told for, for the like the tasting notes yeah. um, that there should be kind of an air of creme brulee. Yeah. And I've seen you and your wife order a creme brulee every single time we go to Canyon's Crown. That's true. It's a delicious... So what do you get? Do, like you being the creme brulee expert, do you get? Well, anything? I said burnt caramel, like burnt caramel, and that's what I. That's what I. True, but I mean, so caramel is its own thing, but the creme yeah. brulee, like I don't. I'm really expecting get... like a little custard flavor. I don't know what creme brulee is made out of. It's custard. Oh, is it? I had to look at my wife to make sure. But I did too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I She's like, "Yep, yep, you got yeah, it. You got it. It's custard." <laughs> um, no, I I get toasted, toasted barrel toasted caramel, and then that spicy rye flavor. I don't get necessarily exactly creme brulee, but I can yeah. see where that would come from. You know, that rye is actually riding pretty strong. Considering it's so low in the mash bill, Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it almost accounts for a quarter, but it's still, it's, yeah, it's right pretty there. strong. Yeah, It's right there. I mean, granted, I mean, rye is not really a subtle no. grain. <laughs> um, so I can't wait any longer. We, no. I remember, I, I picked this up like a month ago. And it's we were true. Like, let's crack it open. I was like, no, no, well, no, no. Let's do it. We can't try anything new until we're in front of the camera. It's been a very sad month. I mean, it's been a great month in general, but sad because every time I saw that, I said, I, I can't drink it yet. Yeah. Well, that's why I kept it hidden in my bar. I know. All right. Well, that rye spice. You got that rye right off the bat. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Definitely. And then um, sweetness, right? So rye and then sweetness for me. Yep. So caramel, like traditional bourbon flavors. Yeah, but those caramel. those spices that you that you smelled before, like yeah. that kind of rolls in yeah. on the on like the back end. Oh man, that's really that's that's good. <clears throat> it's interesting. Yeah. Um well done. For sure. Yep. Well done, um, Woodenville. That's it's. That is. It's. It's, it's complicated. Yeah, I was gonna say it's complex. It's yeah. the exact same thing I was gonna say. Is it? I've noticed a lot I'm, of times, like you and I, are, we we've got a similar impression. Yeah. Like, uh, and we we try we end up saying the same thing at about the same time. Yeah. Which. I mean, it's okay. It works for me. <laughs> yeah. I was always hoping like we'd have different takes on things, but yeah. it, I think our our palates are a little too similar. I mean. I can always eat some more. So one of us is fired. Hershey Kisses before this. We got to get somebody else in here. So uh, this is worth a dram with red and to be determined. <laughs> Open up. Where are you gonna film? <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> I'll rent it. <laughs> All right. I, yeah, I can. I can get behind that. Yeah. Yeah. I so, can't. I can't. I can't do this without you. I okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually, I, I do actually feel the same way. We so this whole concept started towards the beginning of the year and in its in its infancy it was just me with like a barrel yeah. with like a sheet back here <laughs> and it was i would just like have like a different friend on and we'd talk for like five or ten minutes and just yeah. sip whiskey and i ran into these guys at 9 a.m on a, a total line. on a friday on a friday on an off friday off friday yep we work every other every, we have every other friday off yep an off friday 9 a.m we were in the alcoholic session of total wine <laughs> <laughs> so like 
the front of the store, <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> like just <laughs> anyway, we were wandering the store. Yeah, and uh, so I ran into these guys and we started talking the concept. And after a couple of days, I'm, I, that's when I asked you. I was like, "Red, you know, would you like to be a, a permanent co-host?" Best decision I ever made. And I said, hell yes, which is the second best decision I've ever made. Yep. Actually, I thought I really, when you said hell yes I would, when I was like, are you interested? I really thought that he was just office answering me like, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely I, would. I would. Like just humoring me. Um, but no, you you make this easy. I pretty, yeah, pretty, you know, I mean, yeah, we, we have a good back and forth. Yeah. I, I, feel, like, I feel like I can talk to you forever. <laughs> All right, it's enough of the bromance. Knock, knock. Who's there? JGB. <laughs> Somebody else get it. Nick? JGB or <laughs> no one? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm going to give that to you because I've actually pulled some pretty mean pranks. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Oh, man. <laughs> There's the Ooh. Buddy the Elf. There's the Spicy Coffee. Spicy Coffee, Nick Cage. Nick, Nick Cage. Cage on the keyboard. Uh. The Cajuning, that's what we called it. <laughs> that rye just piggybacks it up to the yeah. top. It's something different. Yeah, for sure. Um, um, I, I mean, Complex, I think, nailed what... Yeah. I don't... I mean, I've had half of this dram so far, and I don't know that I've had the same exact like taste profile. No, like every, every sip one, is different. One, I'll get a little bit more sweetness. One, I'll get a little bit more rye. One, I'll just be like, everything's in perfect balance. Yeah. It's it's interesting for sure. And the, I don't feel like any one aspect overpowers the other. Like, they all just kind of no. complement each other straight to the top. That was a weird cut. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, so... Like always, it's our YouTube time travel. It's been about, I don't know, 15? 15, 15-ish minutes. Yeah. I was sneaking a sniff there. Yeah, you well, yeah, almost took a sip. It was very close. we were close. filming the promo. Very close. Um, I know I can't wait. No. I'm not, we're not going to beat around the bush this time. I'm going to jump right into I this. Yeah. These glasses have been sitting long enough. Yeah, I think so. I, I get a little, maybe a little bit more oak on, this, on the, after it's been sitting for a little bit. Maybe. I actually, I kind of feel like it's about the same. It's about the same? Yeah. Maybe I'm just looking for it. It's possible. That rye spice, I'd say, is a little heftier. Heftier for you? So for, I'm going to have to take another No, uh, you know what? Okay. I feel like it's a little punchier, like right up front. But it, it, it dulls down a lot faster than it did before. See, for me, it's, it's, it's backseat now. Okay. It's, it's sitting back there, caramel's driving, maybe a little bit more sweetness. Definitely sweeter. Definitely sweeter. Um, you know, I'm not getting as much vanilla as I was expecting. I got it a little bit on that one, and, and I, I mentioned earlier that every other sip uh, I've taken is is a little bit different. Um, do it, and it's we talked about the complexity. It just keeps transforming. Yeah. Um, as you were saying, I'm looking for vanilla. <laughs> As you were starting that sentence, I was getting vanilla just on the out. As I was breathing out, you know, I it's a little vanilla. it's funny just how you know uh, talking through a tasting and then staying quiet through a tasting. Like yeah. this glass or this bourbon, it's a transformer. Yeah, it's Optimus Prime. It it's it changes every sip. Yeah, I am. It's it's interesting. It's complex. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for. I got a lot, of, a lot more vanilla on that one. I think flavor alone. If I were to recommend this on flavor alone, I might. I don't think I could. But if I if I were recommending an experience. Oh, I agree. Sit back and enjoy this one. Yeah. Let it ride. Yeah. Every every other sip you get, it's going to be a little bit different. Yep. Um, like you have to dedicate some time to this. It's one. a it's a thinking man's whiskey. It's I'd say it's one you're, you're sitting in your uh, sitting in your chair. Yeah. Got your pipe. You know, maybe you're eating a meat tornado. <laughs> is that, is that, <laughs> yeah, you had me a meat tornado. 
Um, you know, we've we've talked in previous episodes on, hey, what would you mix this with, or what would make it? I wouldn't. Nope. I don't know that I'd mix this. This is a neat. Maybe toss a couple ice cubes in there, drop a water if you'd like. But I think you know what I think. A, I think a drop. That's one thing that we haven't done yet on the show. So something that you wouldn't necessarily think that didn't work. actually does anything. Adding like a drop of water to to a, a dram of whiskey or scotch or bourbon. It does something. It brings the spirit to life. Like it, it just transforms it, it. I think it, in my mind, it rounds the edges a little bit. You know what I think it. Act, so scientifically speaking, what I think it does is that water actually engages with the alcohol and causes some of that to evaporate, which brings it brings that edge down, so you get more of the flavor. I would. You got a little bit left. I would try it. Yeah. Because I know I get, um, just like I was saying, rounds the flavors out a little bit. And I get a little bit more of the subtleness uh, coming through. A little bit more of the vanilla, a little bit more of the... I got a lot more of the wood. Caramel. Wood. Vanilla. That, see, that's a vanilla that for I was sure. searching for before. Yeah. That came out. That so, wasn't there before. Yeah, a little bit, of, little bit of water. So, yeah, that would be my recommendation. A couple drops of water. A couple drops of water for Let sure. it sit. Yeah. 15, 20 minutes and add a couple drops of water. That was amazing. Yeah. That was great. If you had to put a number on it. I'm having I'm having trouble. Yeah. Um I I really like it. Um It's not a scientific approach. Right. It's really it's how you feel about it. Yeah. So like makers you know, I, 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 I rated Makers pretty high based off of my experience with Makers. Yeah. The taste is great, but how much I go back to it, like, that's where I that's where my rating came from. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> as far as sitting down with a just a neat glass of bourbon, um, relaxing at the end of the day, mm -hmm. which is how I would drink this, um, I'm not mad about a seven. Yeah? I think. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Seven out of ten. Yeah. And yep. um and I'm 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 almost thinking eight. I might say seven and a half. Oh you're gonna pull out the first I might the first pull out the solo first. half point? Yeah. Okay. I might I might I I'm stuck between seven and eight only because I I'm not often in the mood. I I mean when I'm drinking bourbon, it's not because I'm drinking you know, I'm I'm not always gonna be yeah. like I wanna taste all the complexities and I wanna you know, for me, bourbon's like I'm gonna unwind. It's yeah, a nice. You know, yeah. usually when I'm going complex, I'll grab a scotch or I'll grab something else, and that that's what's throwing me off about this because I would treat it as I would treat a nice scotch, but it's a bourbon. Yeah, <laughs> which is where my, it's a it where my mind's going right now. So yeah, I, I'm gonna go back with the seven. Okay, so I will. I I agree with you on that rating. So yeah. I I also feel like it's a seven, and that. Like I mentioned before, that's from my experience with this right now. Yeah. So a lot of my rating goes into the experience of this. Yeah. Um, hundred percent, I agree with you that it's a little too complex for a bourbon. Yeah. However, I would love to share this with people. Oh yeah. And just yeah, just talk through what they're experiencing as they're drinking it. Like, yep. Like we just spent you know ten minutes. Doing yeah. It. That was. I mean, yeah. that was from start to finish. That was a journey. Yeah. And it. This this is like this is what I'm expecting out of the infinity bottles. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Man, it's um boom boom. Yep, boom boom. Uh so just you know, something that, that's constantly changing, but like every sip changed. Yeah. You know, that was this is one I could see us <clears throat> revisiting and then having different different thoughts on. Oh yeah. I mean, maybe not a different rating, but a different thought. You yeah. know, the next time we try it. So I'd say, yeah, if you're firm seven, I'm a firm yeah, seven. Firm seven. Boom. Seven seven. That fancy wood thing that I've been doing. I like um, the wood paneling. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Yeah. I wish good. I had thought of that when, before I had released the first episode. It works. Work in progress. Yeah. I mean, you guys, I mean, you, you're, you're along this journey with us, so you're going to see not only our taste change and grow, but hopefully yeah. yours. Like, you know, we also, you know, one of the reasons that we released the promos a couple days before, um, you know, the announcements on Facebook. So if you feel so inclined, go out and grab a bottle. Crack it open when we do. Enjoy it with us. Yeah. Um, yeah, let it, and let us know what you think. Uh, either comment down below, hit us up YouTube, Facebook, uh, hey, whatever you want to get us. Hold actually, on. speaking of enjoying with us, uh, let's give a shout out to the Wag House. 
Waghouse, yes. Yeah, so sure. uh, Nick and Justin, there are a couple vets. They're doing pretty much the same similar? thing here. Yeah, similar. They're reviewing whatever they want. They've done whiskeys. I think they have plans to do rums and cognacs. Or whatever. Yeah, different things, tobacco. Even. Yeah, they're doing cigars. They're yeah. reviewing whatever they feel like. But, you know, they're just a couple vets on a parallel journey to ours. Yeah. Um, one, thank you for your service. And two, if you guys are near us, let's hook up. Let's Let's... Get together. Let's oh, uh, yeah, for sure. do a joint episode. Yeah. Love to see what you guys think of Woodenville. Yeah. If you can find it wherever you are, grab it. Um, for sure. It's a journey. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, it's, a, it's a very uh, very complex train. Yeah. And we'll link them in the description down below if you guys want to go check them out. Check well. them out. Give them a like. Give them a subscribe. They're yeah. good stuff. Definitely. And what's their tagline? Don't even worry about it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's their thing. Don't even worry about it. That's good. Anyway, all right, so let's close this off. Uh, as always, thank you for tuning in. This is Worth the Dram. I'm Grim. I'm Red. I'm running you to like, subscribe, and uh, comment down below. Uh, any recommendations you want us to try. Please and that. thank you. Definitely appreciate it. And one thing to keep in mind, no matter how you like your whiskey is the right way. Right.